Hello, I'm going to show you a problem that some double capstan decks have. This is a Denon DRM4, which is a double capstan direct drive deck. I'm going to press play to show you that the deck reads the tape, plays the tapes very well. So you can see the view meters moving because there is a strong signal recorded on the tape. And I'm going to press a stop and the deck stops. Now I'm going to press record and play and nothing is connected to the deck. The deck is, uh, the input level is all the way down to zero. There's nothing connected, but you have seen that something was read from the tape, was played from the tape as if the tape wasn't recording. I switched to source to prove that there's nothing connected here and uh, even that the input level was zero. I switch back to tape. Now the deck seems to do well and to, re to, to erase the tape as there's nothing, no signal recorded. But you, you saw before that it wasn't erasing the tape. Now I will press stop after a while and I will take out the tape. And you can see, I want to show it clearly, you can see that the deck has made this a small loop, this has created a small slack. This slack is caused because of a malfunction in the double deck mechanism, probably originated by a bad belt, which is not probably the case because the belt looks and has a very nice uh, stretching when I touch it, the, the belt looks okay, the pinch rollers also have a nice touch and are cleaned and they are not hardened, but the deck keeps doing this with some tapes. I will manually rewind, I'm going to record again. And you can see that it's recording, but you can see that the erasing is not doing well because the tape is not properly erased and the previous music is still played. The deck is into record mode. The input level is all the way down to zero, but the deck is recording. You can't see because this deck has this metal plate here which hides the heads and the rollers inside. But what it is actually going on it is that the supply capstan, the capstan on the left, this capstan, is pushing the tape faster then the take-up capstan can take the tape and it is creating a low tension on the tape between both capstan. The deck, you can see it also here, makes the tape loose and it's not correctly pressed against the erase head, which is this one you are watching here. This recording and playback head may work right because the deck, the, the tape has this pressure pad here, but here in this hole where the erasing head is pushed in, there's nothing that presses the tape against the recording, the, the erasing head. So all you have left is the supply capstan and the take up capstan rotating at different speeds so that there is a tension in the tape. It happens in this deck but not with this tape, it happens with other tapes. I can put another tape, I will press play, oh this deck seems to have nothing on it. Okay this one has a tone. I switch to record and the deck is completely erased. I'm pressing stop, play again and you can see the preview signal. 
uh, I've made a correct raising of the deck. I'm, I have rewinded, and this was this was what was previously. Now you see the raised fragment of the tape I have just done, and again back the music. Press record and play again, and you can see that this deck works flawlessly with this tape. not with this. Music, recording, and now it seems that it's doing right, but this was the tape that failed a moment ago. Ah, you have it here. This tape is not working right. It has created another slack, another loop again. So this is a bad tape. Or is this a bad deck? Who knows? The repair of this deck, uh, this, the fix to this problem, seems to be to swap, to change the belts. The belts need to be the correct one. I have changed many belts in many decks with belts that were similar to the correct ones and the deck worked without problems. I mean, you don't need you don't need really really need the correct belt to to do the to make the, the deck work. But sometimes the mechanism is just too sensible to bad belts.